Hey you guys, it's Monica and welcome back. So today we are going to be unboxing and setting up my new sublimation printer. Woo! So yes, um, I started, I decided to start venturing into sublimation. I think it is something that's really cool and it's something I really want to do. And so I went and bought this Epson 2803. I picked mine up from Target. It was $230 and with a $30 gift card and I believe that promotion is still going on. So super good deal. So if you want a sublimation printer, I don't know. I'm really anal. <laughs> I really wanted a white one. I don't know why. But they have a black one that's only $180 and also comes with a $30 gift card, which is an even better deal. But I just really wanted the white one. And I felt like the black one was in a series like they don't make, but they still made the 2800 series. But yeah. Anyways, um, I'm going to walk through just setting this up. This comes with its own ink. But surprise, surprise, um, this video is actually in collaboration with Hippo. So Hippo is well known for providing their sublimation inks, paper, and tumblers. And so I reached out to them and they happily agreed to collab with me on this video. So you will be seeing me actually use their ink, paper, and tumblers during my setup process. And so as I'm going to be setting this up, I'm going to be using the instructions that came with the printer to set it up the only big difference is i'm going to be using that hippo ink to fill up my tanks as opposed to that ink that came with the printer that is a big thing with sublimation do not put the regular ink in the printer wait only use the sublimation ink like and you can like clean the printer if you already have a tank um and it has to be a tank printer you can't just use like a regular inkjet um but yeah so just remember that if you're just now starting out just throw that ink to the side see if you have somebody who actually wants to use it but other than that, don't be concerned with it. So the first step in the whole setting up your um, eco tank is going to be you need to remove all the tape from it. So there's tape pretty much everywhere. <laughs> and like those, they have like little pads on them and stuff. I'm like, oh, they got a little fancy with the tape in some places. I was like, oh, okay. So yeah, like tape everywhere. Like why did that piece of tape need to go all the way to the back? I have no idea. But that's what they did. And so there was also some tape that like linked around the back. So just tilting, turning, and twisting the printer every way to get all that tape out. And so uh, the next step is to plug it in. So I went ahead and plugged it in, but I did not power it on. Remember that. Plug in. Fo Y'all, follow the instructions. And Jennifer Maker, she's a big YouTuber here, crafting YouTuber here. Um, I watched her video first, so, like, her video is also really good. I'm giving you, like, the quick snappy version. If you need the slowed down version, definitely check out her video. And so before you turn it on, the first thing you're going to do is... You're going to want, I don't know why I put autofill. Oh, that's the autofill sublimation ink from Hippo. And so, and it also comes with a glove if you need to use your gloves. It's not messy or anything, so, but that was nice to include the glove. Don't really think you need it, in my opinion. And so, these are their autofill bottles. So, the good thing about these bottles is I know there's certain companies that their ink comes with like a syringe and stuff. Theirs is just pops right on and i'll show you how that works in just a second but i want to show off the tumblers that they sent me because i was getting like really anxious and i just wanted to open up everything and so i stopped right in the middle of what i was supposed to be doing so i can open these up and so they're individually boxed they each come with their own stainless steel straw as well as a individual cleaner so if you're selling these you can send people like that whole thing which is really cool and it also has the rubber stoppers for the bottom which was also really cool and also in the box was the shrink wraps so if you're someone who uses a convection oven in order to do your sublimation it already comes with the shrink wraps too so just something to remember and it comes with 10 so plenty plenty enough so again, without turning our printer on, let's like get back to the setup. Without turning the printer on, we're gonna go ahead and start filling up the ink. And as you can see, there are four different tanks, a black, a yellow, a magenta, and a cyan, AKA black, yellow, pink, and blue. Um, and we're gonna fill them up. Like I said, Hippo's um, bottles are, these are the autofill ones. So they fit like perfectly over that little nozzle. You can just like pop it down in and it'll just do it all on its own, which like, for someone like me who didn't know what they was doing, and I'm going to show you how I didn't know what I was doing in just a second, because would it be a Monica video if I didn't struggle? So, like, y'all see me? I'm like, okay, it's an autofill. They say it's supposed to just pop on, but, like, my not doing it. Like, I'm doing something wrong. I'm, I'm clearly doing something very wrong, and I was afraid of the price. Like, there is a tad bit of pressure that is required. So, I'm like, okay, I'll just hold it here. And I'll just let it fill up because obviously these aren't, at first I thought they, like, I was doing something wrong or they didn't send me the right thing. I, I didn't know. I did not know. And I'm like, I know this isn't right. I, I know this is supposed to just be able to just, like, pop on. But I'm, as I'm holding it, the ink is going in there. But, like, it's not auto-filling like I wanted it to. So I'm like, okay, 
hold on. It's going in there, right? It's filling up. It's doing its thing. But I'm supposed to be able to just pop it on here. And so, because at this point, when I'm showing it to you, it's just, I'm holding it. And so, you just got to put a little pressure on it. You know what I mean? Put a little pressure on it. You can see me in the reflection on the bottom of the thing. I'm still holding it. You got to just put a little pressure on it. And it'll actually do it on its own. And once you get it right, like I have now at this point, once I put that little pressure on it, y'all can see I'm proud of myself, so I'm zooming out. It fills up really fast. So, yeah. And that's it. And you see, it's a nice, clean entry and exit. I'm showing y'all now that I, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> so, yeah, pop it on, pop it off. It's super easy. So, I'm put that lid on. And then I'm just going to continue filling up all of the other colors one by one. And I also got really nervous because I don't know why I'm like, what if I put the wrong one in the wrong one? Like, girl, read the colors. Just read the colors. <laughs> and so there was actually plenty enough ink left in these um, that there was so little ink left over after this whole process. So you can see how quick that goes down. Like when you pop it in, y'all see how that gurgled away so quickly? It goes like fast. Like that thing is filling up. And that's about how much, the yellow is the easiest one to see. So I want to show you about how much there was left after that process. And now the tanks are all filled up. It was a super quick, super easy process with those bottles. Shout out to Hippo for that. So now it is finally time to turn the printer on. So I'm going to whip the screen out. I was trying to figure out at what level I liked, you know what I mean? So I liked it right there. <laughs> um, and I'm going to just turn it on. When you turn it on, the screen is so little, it's almost pointless. <laughs> like, I don't, I've, I've never, I feel like I've never seen a, a printer screen this small. Like, no shade, but it's kind of little. And so, it's going to start asking you all these questions, and you're just beginning this initial setup. So, the very first thing that it's going to do, it is going to... Um, what do they call it? Charge the printer. So charging the printer is like pulling all the ink from the tanks, pulling it through the system, all that kind of stuff. So it can be at the ready when it's time to print. So that is the very first thing that your printer is going to do. At least this model. I can't speak for how the other models work, but the 2803 that I got, that's how this one works. And it's going like to ask you some questions, ask you, you want to start, you ready to start. Did you put the ink in? You sure you put that ink in? Okay, cool. And so my estimated time for doing mine was 11 minutes. And so it took the whole 11. And then it's going to say when it's done, it's going to stop making all those weird noises. And it's going to say initialization, initialization complete. And then once that initial setup is done, you're going to want to top off your ink. So mine had went down to about the first line. And so again, I just popped open that cover and I just topped off all the inks one last time. And even after that, come on, hippo. There was still a little bit of ink left. I said, well, okay, let me put these back in the box and save it for, you know, when I need to top it off one more time. And again, super easy. You just pop it on, let it fill up, and shout out to Hippo. Okay, okay, y'all, let me tell y'all real quick. And so they, this came in a different package than the other stuff. And so it came, like, after I had grabbed all the other stuff. And so I was like, oh, the paper. Where's the paper? But we got the paper. And so really good paper their paper has great reviews on amazon so i was really looking forward to seeing what that paper was going to be talking about it's got the little hippo on the back is it like it has like two eyes it's like high poo but like i know it's hippo because they use a hippo as the mascot <laughs> but yeah and so when you load it in the printer's going to recognize like hey there's paper in the back what kind of paper is that i use premium presentation mat um because that's what the instructions said to pick um, as the choice. And so the next thing you're going to want to do now is going to, after you say initial, say initial setup is complete, you're going to want to go through the whole process of actually setting up your printer. Full disclosure, I pulled out my good hippo paper and put in this other paper because I'm like, oh, nope, I'm going to save all my hippo paper for the actual printing of the things. And so mine only took about six sheet, sheets to set it up. I think I messed up on the last one, but you know, it worked out in the end. <laughs> so I couldn't tell. It was asking me questions and then like how to figure, put, put it on the sheet. It was just a little too confusing. And so I was like, eh, I'm not gonna worry about it. Okay. <laughs> and so now we're gonna just print out our first print. And so full disclosure also did, I did a couple off camera because you know, I wanted to make it come on here and seem like I knew what I was talking about because no one wants, y'all you know, watch me all the time not knowing what I'm doing. I ain't even going front. But I'm like, this can't be that hard, right? And honestly, sublimation is super easy. Uh, full disclosure, I also, I downloaded their ICCS profile, but I ended up not using it um, because you have to like have like a software like 
Photoshop or something like that. So I don't think I'm using it actively, but I may be. We can do a whole nother discussion about that. But this is the image I picked. It's super cute, super gorgeous. I found it on Etsy. I love it. It's so cute that, you know, I sent a, I sent the finished product to my mom and them and they were fighting over who was going to get the tumbler. And I'm like, I can just make each of y'all one because I'm keeping this one. So we're going to be tripless with our tumblers. So yeah. And so you can see, I just put all the little rubber thing. These are how the actual tumblers look. They're 20 ounce tumblers, skinny tumblers, uh, straight tumblers. And yeah. And so off camera, because again, I'm still a little new to it. I went ahead and taped it and everything off camera. I'll leave a link to the tape that I used below. And I'm going to press this for, I pressed it for 60 seconds and I turned it and I pressed it for another 30 seconds. I started to get a little scared because it started to get, you know, a little hot. And so I might have overpressed it a little bit. You can see my paper a little burnt. Again, I'm new. I'm new to this. So I was, I overcooked my chicken too. So I can't cook though. So if you ever come visit me, we're going to go out to eat. I'm never going to torture anybody. <laughs> Only person I torture is my husband. And so I'm just going to rip that off. And y'all look, the colors are so vibrant. The finish is freaking gorgeous. Like I was surprised at how vibrant those colors were. That hippo ink is A1 certified, baby. Like I was in awe, pure awe of how gorgeous this turned out. So I'm just gonna put the bottom um, little stopper on. And of course, this is just to make sure like you don't burn your table when you actually do put a hot ass drink in there because like we don't want that. Cause I accidentally set an iron on my wooden dining room table and now it's forever blemished. Um, but I just put it in a corner where no one sits. So that works out. And y'all look at that, that's it. Sublimation is so easy. Oh, and I also made this other cup, um, which is super cute. You can see that like I made it too small but I just went ahead and glittered those parts. And so I'll post a picture of how it's all finished off um, on my Instagram, so follow me over there. And this is the other one. So yeah, you guys, this was a quick, fun, easy, and it's super easy to start sublimation. So, and Hippo was kind enough to leave us some discount codes below. So please check out the description box and get those discount codes for the paper, the tumblers, and the ink. Uh, thumbs up the video, leave a comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.